Hello Geeks! Welcome to a short introduction to PowerShell commonlets and modules. Start PowerShell ISC. I prefer doing everything in an elevated admin PS ISC, but it's up to you if you want to use a normal user mode one. PowerShell version in latest Windows 10 Insider Preview builds is 5.1, but everything told in this video applies to all PS versions. PowerShell commands are called commandlets. A commandlet has a verb and a noun, separated by a hyphen. Commandlets may contain additional parameters and arguments. In this example, we have commandlet get child item. Verb tells system what to do, in this case, get something. That something in our example case now is child items, the files and folders of in parameter given folder. When executed, we get a list of contents of the given folder. PowerShell version 5 knows 98 verbs. You can list them all with commandlet get verb. With the pipe character, we can send or pipe the commandlet output to a file or, as in this example now, to a grid view window. Output can also be sent to clipboard and pasted to another application. To see in which commandlets a certain verb can be used, add it as a parameter to get verb. To list all available nouns, use commandlet get command space hyphen noun space asterisk. This gives a complete list of commandlets. We can now see that the same noun can be used with different verbs. For example, noun VM, short for virtual machine, here with verbs start and stop. Use a get help commandlet to find help and syntax examples for a specific commandlet. Help also contains a link to online help page for that commandlet. On help page you will find examples of how to use the commandlet.
All commandlets belong to a specific module. Only three necessary modules are loaded when PowerShell starts. Other modules will be added when needed. Installed modules are stored in two places, in Windows PowerShell subfolder, under the Program Files folder and under the Windows System32 folder. You can also find full list of available modules on Command Add-on pane. Selecting a module, you'll get a list of its commandlets. Let's see how PowerShell handles the modules. As mentioned in the beginning, when you start PowerShell, only three modules are loaded. Doing anything involving something belonging to a module not currently loaded, PowerShell will load that module. I will now get a list of commandlets in Hyper-V module. This forces PowerShell to load Hyper-V module. Before getting the list, we had three modules loaded. And now we have four. The Hyper-V module has been added. Let's install some software using install package commandlet, which belongs to package management module, not currently loaded. Checking the modules, we can see that the package management module was added because it was needed. Another example, let's restart PowerShell ISE. The three basic modules loading. This time let's use the command add-on pane for automated command execution. To install more software on this PC, I need package management module. I select the commandlet I need, in this case install package. I need to click show details button to import the module. Now it's easy. I enter the name of application I want to install, select the force switch and click run.
my selected software has been installed. And PowerShell has automatically imported or loaded the package management module. Check Microsoft TechNet for excellent help and information about and around commandlets. Link in video description. Join us at tinforums.com.